Hello friends, in today's class, we will be studying more about superconductors and their theory. Hello friends, in today's class, we will be taking a dive into the superconductors and we will be exploring the superconductors basic principles. Superconductivity and superconductors. Superconductivity is the phenomenon in which electrical resistance of the materials suddenly disappears below a certain temperature. The materials that exhibit superconductivity and which are in superconducting state are called as superconductors. This covers an important definition. Make a note that superconductivity is the phenomenon in which electrical resistance of the material suddenly disappears. Now, well, if you say suddenly disappears, it means there should be an abrupt knee-jerk reaction below a certain temperature. This is the condition that below a certain temperature, this effect takes into picture. The materials that exhibit superconductivity and which are in superconducting state are called as superconductors. So, if this is an axis, temperature versus electrical resistivity this is how my normal metals would react normal metals as the temperature decreases you can see the electrical resistivity decreases till a point and this becomes constant at 0 kelvin this point is called as rho r or we can say this is the residual resistivity. Well, residual resistivity is nothing but as the resistivity at 0 Kelvin. So, this could be a question for your viva. What is residual resistivity? So, residual resistivity for metals is nothing but as resistivity at temperature equals to 0 Kelvin or absolute 0. Now, how the graph is going to change for a superconductor? Well, well, here you can see this graph had a steep behavior till the temperature Tc which is denoted here and at point Tc the graph's resistivity fell abruptly down to zero. This is how my normal metals would not react. So the metals which show a relationship similar to this are termed as superconductors. This temperature is called as transition temperature. So transition temperature is the temperature at which a normal material abruptly changes into a superconductor and the transition temperature Tc is also known as critical temperature. So you can call this as critical temperature or you can even call this as transition temperature. So basically how would you define this temperature? This temperature is nothing but as the point of the temperature at which a normal material abruptly changes into a superconductor and the transition temperature can also be called as critical temperature. Now what are the properties of superconductors? First is it has zero electrical resistivity and if it has zero electrical resistivity it means there is no resistance or we can say there is least amount of resistance and hence there is no loss of current. Secondly, once a current is started in a closed loop of superconducting material it will continue to keep flowing of its own accord around the loop as long as the loop is held below the critical temperature. Of course, this point really makes sense that as long as you are below the critical temperature, then only your material is going to act as a superconductor. If you go beyond the temperature, then you lose the property of superconductor and hence this does not hold good. Such a steady current which flows without diminishing its strength is called a persistent current. Well, we'll just make a very easy example of this. Let's say suppose in a material 10 ampere is flowing. As you decreased the temperature, resistivity decreased and at a point which is equal to Tc, the resistivity became constant. 
so the resistance became constant and at that temperature a constant amount of current started flowing so that current is called as persistent current which means this current is flowing on its own this is a pictorial representation of the same for temperature greater than or equal to tc and x ext this is how the electric field is looking like and if the temperature is less than tc which h ext equals to 0 there is a consistent flowing of the current inside the loop